What's up, Facebook? How's everybody going today? This morning, we're going to discuss uh, hotheads. I'm sure we all dealt with a hothead before in our lives, you know, relationship-wise, where um, they're outspoken. They got to have the last word. And basically, um, they just volatile. They just explode at the, the, the most simplest things. But I just wanted to probably give you an aspect of why um, these hotheads are the way that they are. A lot of the reasons why hotheads are the way that they are is because they have been through something in their life where as if you for one second would do something to um, flash them back to that time, it's a wrap. I mean, they're just gonna attack you. You know, basically, just they're gonna go out, go all out on you. You know, because you are um, invoking a time in their life where you know they were fearful, where they were hurt, where they had uh, determined in their life that they're not going to be ever treated that way again. So you know, although you may not have any intentions on hurting these people. It's just it's just a cause and effect type of thing. Now, the best way for you to um, uh, avoid these situations or these, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult, but the best way to um, deal with it is to talk about it. Be open about your feelings and let the person know that, you know, Although you've been through something in your life, I don't know exactly what it was. I don't know why you won't share these things, you know, particular things with me, but I'm not that person. You know, give me the benefit of the doubt. If, I, if I'm if i talking to you, it's basically because, um, you know, there's something that you did that struck me as odd, and I just wanted to talk to you about it, you know? There's no reason for you to fly off the handle or, or you know, come at me any old type of way. You know, it's just, it is what it is. I'm not that person that you dealt with. Another thing, another aspect that is kind of odd or crazy is that when a woman has been in an abusive relationship for many years of her life, and she comes across you, now, you know, she's accustomed to certain things being conditioned with abuse. You know, she's accustomed to, you know, a volatile situation. She's ready for a volatile situation at all times. Like, you know, it could be the way that you walk might remind you of her volatile situation she came to and she's ready. She's ready to jump off the, you know, whatever the case may be. But also one thing that I've noticed is that they can be in a relationship for 20 years of abuse but can't stand being in a relationship for more than three hours after having their first argument with the guy of their dreams. And I've been, and, and they, they are quick to quit. They, that's it, they, they, they're out. They're just quick to quit. I don't want nothing to do with it. Um, I'm out, you know? And this is because, you know, and it was brought to me and, you know, I was enlightened by a uh, conversation before it was brought to me. The reason why is that they placed all of these ambitions and dreams upon you. And as soon as the first situation happens, you kind of let them down to the ultimate, right? Oh, my God, he's just like all the rest. I'm not going to deal with it. He's not going to hurt me. Again. You know, so that's, 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 that's just another aspect of... Of, of dealing with a situation when a person has some type of abuse issues, you know. But um, on that note, um, I just think that a lot of people need to have more patience and you need to discuss your issues uh, thoroughly. You need to be honest with yourself. You have to understand that you're a hothead and that, you know, you need to develop a little more patience when dealing with people who aren't what you are accustomed to. Know, have some patience. Both sides need to have patience. That's what's going to make the situation a lot better. All right, I'm about to get hit the street, get some um, workout on, and I hope everybody's having a blessed day. 
God bless and peace out.